Please subscribe to this channel for more videos related to Catholic Christian teaching. Mortal sin is called mortal because it causes the spiritual death of the soul. For a sin to be mortal, it must have these three components. Grave matter, that is, against the Ten Commandments. The sin is committed with full knowledge and with complete consent. Venial sin, on the other hand, is an offense in a less serious matter which does not kill the soul, yet displeases God and often leads to mortal sins. It is called venial because it is more easily pardoned than mortal sin. By virtue of divine ordinance, all mortal sins are subject to the obligation of confession according to their kind, number and circumstances which alter their species. The Council of Trent especially stresses that sacred sins and inward sins against the last two commandments of the Ten Commandments must be confessed. Physical or moral impossibility may excuse the penitent from the material completeness of the confession of sins. When the confession is formally but not materially complete, forgotten mortal sins or mortal sins which owing to a state of necessity were not individually confessed are indirectly remitted. The penitent's duty founded on the command of Christ, remains to submit explicitly these sins at the next confession and of accepting a corresponding penance by way of satisfaction for them. The confession of venial sins is not necessary but is permitted and is useful. The Council of Trent teaches that it is not necessary to confess venial sins as these can be expiated by many other salutary means such as sorrow, prayer, works of charity, and abstinence, reception of Holy Communion. Yet they may be omitted without guilt and can be expiated by many other remedies. However, it is permissible, good and profitable to confess them. The permission is based on the universal character of the Church's power to forgive sins. The confession of venial sins became first a disciplinal exercise, then a sacramental confession in different monasteries, especially in Ireland. Through Irish monks, St. Columban, the repeatable private penance, which was also used in the case of venial sins, became established on the continent. The Council of Trent defended against the reformers the practice of confessing venial sins. Pius VI adopted the teaching of the Council of Trent against the Synod of Pistoia, which decided to limit the so-called devotional confession on the ground of reverence of the sacrament. Pius XII, in the encyclical Mystici Corporis and Mediator Dei, recommended the frequent reception of confession, calling it the pious practice of frequent confession, introduced by the Church under the guidance of the Holy Spirit.
and condemning the belittlement of frequent confession as an enterprise which is alien to the spirit of Christ and most detrimental to the mystical body of our Savior. Those sins which are already forgiven directly by the Church's power of the keys are sufficient matter for confession. The repetition of confession is according to the declaration of Benedict the Eleventh, an act of humility and therefore of satisfaction. In this case, according to the teaching of theologians, the absolution brings about the removal of those obstacles which remain as an effect of the sins already forgiven, and which oppose the efficiency of grace as well as the remission of the temporal punishments of sins which remain. Please go to YouTube Retirement Talithi channel, Playlist Sacraments, for the complete series of these materials.